Hi. So I actually did what I think is the very first lightning talk ever done at a Yapsi, which may have been, I don't know, the first lightning talk ever, which is kind of scary. Um, so it was way back, not even, it was way back in Yapsi 19100. We were all you know, like obviously a lot younger then. Like Jim, um, I also did mine on an overhead projector with, with transparencies. Um, unlike Jim, I think overhead transparencies are, are underrated. And they actually, if you spend enough time sort of hanging around like academic math departments, they're still used. Um, and they're kind of cool. Like you can write on them while you're giving a talk. That's pretty cool. I once saw someone, like something, some, a woman came to do a, a presentation and her, um, her, something was wrong with her laptop and she was giving a talk on, on um, um, Oh, I'm like totally blanking what, what they are. She, she f didn't have her slides and she wrote them all out, all sorts of math and everything, just on a whole bunch of transparencies. It was pretty amazing. So at any rate, at Yapsi 19100, that was the first time I met Damian Conway. Um, um, and at the time, he gave a talk on, on quantum superpositions. I know we, we all use, anyone has, has anyone used quantum superpositions? Maybe-ish. So let me give a quick rundown on how quantum, what quantum superpositions does. It gives you uh, two new keywords. Um, one is any, and any is, um, it's, uh, technically it's this disjunctive superposition of states. What that really means is a variable that can be any one of a number of states. So if you have any one, two, three, that variable could be one or two or three. Um, it also gives another keyword called all, um, which that's a conjunctive superposition. So it's in all of those states simultaneously. So it's one and two and three. Um, and you know, so it's sort of the idea of you know, like Schrodinger's cat, which is both dead and not dead. This is the same idea, but with variables. And you can do all sorts of interesting things. This is from the man page. You can do these cool sort of um, cross products all in one statement. And I know, I know these are actually part of Perl 6 now. And so you use them, at Perl, all you Perl 6 people are you're like, uh, so what? But like back in like, like 2000, <laughs> I was pretty blown away by that. But then like as with lots of Damien talk, I go from this state to like, hmm, like what could I do with this? And so I got to thinking, um, we had, I was working in a corporate IT department at the time, and we had this weekly football pool. Um, you know, where you, know, you have a bunch of teams, a bunch of games, and there's a point spread, and you just pick who, what team you want to win. So I got to thinking, so instead of just submitting my picks as like whether I'm picking, say, the, the Seahawks or the 49ers, uh, what if I submit my picks as a quantum superposition of two different teams? So then you could say, so if the winner is Steelers, then if you check, it's, it's going to say, is it win or lose? And if you run that, it's going to say, you win. Okay, so what happens if the winner is the Eagles? Well, still, it says you win. It's pretty cool. Either way, you win because it doesn't check until after the game has already been played. Uh, but just to prove that it doesn't always work, if you say that it's like the Browns, uh, the Browns obviously lose, right? So this is how <laughs> this is how you can make so you play to the audience. That's what I always say. So this is how you can make lots of money using Damien's Damien's modules. So thank you very much. <laughs>